Hi, this is Jake for BandLab, and in this video, we're going to take a look at how to import your own samples into BandLab. If you find this guide useful, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be the first to know when new videos drop. BandLab includes a huge free library of samples in the form of BandLab sounds, which allows you to search for loops and one-shots by type of sound and genre. If you already have samples on your hard drive or even physical media, you can easily use those in BandLab too. Let's look at a few ways you can import your own samples into BandLab. BandLab supports .wav files plus mp3, mp4, aac, m4a, flag, and aug formats. The first way to import samples is to open the folder containing the file you want to import using Mac OS Finder or Windows File Explorer. Then drag the file onto an existing audio track or the strip that says drop a loop or an audio MIDI file. The audio file will appear as an audio clip on the track and you can use it just as you would a sample from BandLab Sounds. The ways you can affect it include truncating it, looping it, adding fades, reversing it, and changing its playback rate and pitch. You can drag multiple audio files at once and these will be placed on individual tracks, ideal for when you're working with stems. Another way to import samples is to click the plus button on the strip. This opens a file browser window, and you can navigate your way to the file you want to open. Once you've located it, you can double click it or select it and click the open button. As well as playing back samples on audio tracks, you can use BandLab's sampler instrument. This is perfect for sequencing playback of one-shot samples, and importing works in the same way as with audio tracks. You could drop a sample directly onto a sample pad, or select the sample pad you'd like to use, and click the Import File button to bring up the file browser. Playing samples back via the sampler is useful if your sample needs fine pitch tuning. Hold Shift on your keyboard and turn the pitch knob. To tune a sample accurately, you can add a virtual instrument track and sequence a note as a reference. This can be useful for working out the key of a sample too. If the sample you're using has a click at the start, you can use an audio clip fade or the sampler's attack knob to remedy this. As well as importing audio files, you can record audio directly onto an audio track or into Sampler. This can be used to record samples from physical media, such as vinyl or CD, or anything else you'd hook up to an audio interface. On an audio track, you could select an audio device and a specific input from that device. Clicking the monitoring button allows you to hear the input signal as it's recorded. With that track selected, hit record, and after a count in, BandLab will start recording the audio input. Recording in a sampler will use the input assigned on the left of the interface. You can drag audio files from an audio track onto a sampler pad too. A useful application of importing your own samples is resampling. That is, creating your own versions of sounds by processing them. Exporting their audio using the file, download, mixdown, as function then loading the exported sample up onto an audio track or into the sampler. As well as importing your own samples, you can import MIDI files onto virtual instrument tracks. This works just like importing an audio file. Simply drag the MIDI file onto an instrument track or onto the strip, or use the plus icon to locate it on your computer. As you can see, there are plenty of ways to get your sounds into BandLab, so have fun getting creative!